Hi guys, it's Amy of Theme to Plan. Welcome back to my Organizing My Life Planner series. Well, first of all, Happy Lunar New Year to all of those who celebrate. Um, I am recording this video on the first day of the new year. And since I'm Vietnamese, I would say Happy Vietnamese New Year to all of my friends out there. Um, so yeah, but this video is really, I think, going to be short and sweet just because I missed this with like January 1st, but since it's the Lunar New Year, I thought this would be a good time for me to hop on and actually just uh, remind myself that I need to do this. Um, so one of the things that I think is really important is to be able to have one single location for vital documents. Um, and vital documents, I think, are one of those things where having more copies in multiple different locations is really important. You obviously want to have one single location for everything, but you also want to have like duplicates, like copies made of all the things. So um, that way, in case of any kind of emergency, emergency, you would have access to some of that information. So um, with that being said, I did pull out my home binder. Um, I'm not going to actually flip through it because it is vital documents. So there's like obviously personal information with it. But I will say that at the end of the day, one of the things that I do is make copies um, and put them into my classic size home binder. So I do have copies of everything that I'm going to talk to you about today. Um, print it out um, and put into my home binder. The section that it goes into um, is this about a section right here where I just have copies of all of the vital documents. And again, those are copies, not the actual originals. With that, with that being said, though, I'm going to set that to the side and talk to you about these two things because, you know, this is like, I think, step one <laughs> or like, you know, at least one of the steps. Um, again, vital documents are important to me to have copies. So, you know, like starting here, I think is a good place just because again, brand new year, lunar new year, at least. Um, and it's just a good reminder to do this, you know, every year. So what are vital documents? Vital documents are those documents that are so extremely important, like they are tied to your identity. And these are the copies or like the documents that you would need to verify your identity over time. So the things I think of are things like birth certificates, driver's license. Um, I also include things like military ID, paperwork, naturalization or citizenship paperwork. We will have things um, that connect you to other people. So for example, your marriage certificate, um, if you have any divorce papers, um, all of those things I classify as vital documents. Now for me, I kind of use like a three prong approach here. Like there's going to be where I have an alloc a location for the original document, which is right here. Then I'll have a copy, which I just showed you is in my home binder. And then I also like to make a third, like a triplicate, like a third copy of it, and I save it digitally. Um, so that way I have it pretty much everywhere um, that I would need to have it. Um, of course, vital documents are very, um, they, they're not, super difficult to replace, but they will take time to replace and having a copy on hand is um, better than having nothing on hand. So in case of any kind of emergency, um, God willing, this would never happen. But like in case your house burned down or, you know, there was a flood or like you just had to like leave in a very like big hurry, uh, you want to be able to like have a single location for all those things, but also have it somewhere where you can access it, even if you can't get to the original. So again, with that being said, I mean, that's like just gather all those vital documents and put them in one location. Now I'm going to talk to you about this. This is something I purchased um, about like three years ago. It looks like just a plain bag, right? But I'll go ahead and just unzip it and show you like that. I've already kind of set it up with some categories here. So here are like, um, I'm trying not to show any personal information, but basically these first three are set up to be the vital documents. So these are all the copies of um, documents for me, my husband and our kids. Um, and so it's birth certificates, marriage licenses, all the vital documents go in here. I also have it set up um, just to kind of preview some of the things that we'll talk about later. Um, I have house documents, car, and then we have two cars. So I have two tabs for that. There's a medical section and I do have it split up to where there's medical section for a medical section for all four of us. So for me, um, Sophia, for, for um, Rose and for my husband, um, and then there's a section that's just family. And then lastly, right here, it says IDs, right? And so those are the sections that I have in here. Sorry for the noise, um, but I'll go ahead and zip this back, back up. I'm going to link this in the description. It's also linked in my Amazon like planner supplies list, um, but this is a fireproof document holder. And again, I have not tested tested it so I don't actually know if it's fireproof um, but 
it's better than nothing, right? So I have all vital documents just put in here. And over time, I'm going to add more things in here. And again, for me, my vital documents include basically all the things attached to my identity. Oh, I forgot to mention things like social security card, um, passports, all those things go in here. All right. And so this is where the originals live. It is fireproof. Um, I also in here, every, every document in here, I've made a copy of and put into my classic size home binder just to have that copy and then I've also scanned everything that's in here to have a digital copy um, in the cloud basically so that way I would have access to the information the numbers and things like that okay so that's vital documents um, and again I think it's really important to have it in multiple different places so so that's that now I also brought my wallet because one of the things that I like to do um, is of course like have my vital documents that doesn't actually change that often of course like your birth certificate is just the one-time deal and you're gonna make a copy and that'll, that'll be it but one thing that might change a little bit more frequently are all the documents that you have in your wallet um, and so I went ahead and brought my wallet here again I won't open it up it's personal information but um, I'm going to try to do this every year this is a reminder to myself holding myself accountable um to every year go in here pull out all the cards the gift cards like pretty much every single card that i have in here and make a copy of it and put that into my vital documents as well so it does have in here i do have of course my driver's license but um i have my credit cards and all those types of things as well so just in case i lose my wallet i'll have a copy of those numbers um the the number to contact my credit card to contact my debit card um and be able to cancel all those things so i'm going to go ahead and and go and make a copy of all of those things and put it into my home binder now you can see it's basically my hands waving around this entire video um, because it's just personal information I'm going to include um, a list in the description of all the things that I consider vital documents and like what I'm going to be doing or like what I've just basically explained to you like I'm going to be making copies of everything that's in my wallet at this moment in time uh, minus like receipts obviously that that's a whole separate thing but like basically all the cards that are in, in here I'm going to make a copy of all of those things to put into my home binder and so this is my reminder to you we're, we're moving into like actually getting into the nitty-gritty so some of these videos might be this type of stuff i'm really not going to be writing or doing a lot of things i don't think um, but it's really just me talking out my process um so yeah that's pretty much it for this video go and make copies of all the things that are in your wallet and start gathering all of your vital documents into one place so that way you have a place to like just like for me this is the bag that i just grab and run if i need to if if god willing that never happens but like if i needed to it's all in one area so like in one bag so I could just grab it and go but again I'll write out everything that I'm like I'm kind of like mentioning it in passing in the video but I'll list everything in the description so you can kind of follow along with what I consider vital documents and of course you might have other things that you consider vital documents so if there are other things feel free to make a comment and leave those in the description or leave those in the comments and I'll pin those for other people to reference as well so yeah that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up I am moving through this series um I am really excited about like getting organized and I'm finally getting back into the swing of doing it so yeah we're going to continue going um make sure that you're subscribed so you can follow along with these videos if you haven't done that already um and again hit the like button and until the next video bye guys